Okay, in this final session we're going to be setting up a large scrolling banner which I'll refer to as headers and you can see that is uh, the header right here. And we're going to do this using a completely separate Joomla extension called Rock Stories. This extension is available through Rocket Themes and you can find out more information about the Rock Stories extension by going here. Uh, there are a variety of similar extensions or modules available out there um, on the internet for Joomla websites, but we chose this one because of the ease of integration with the Rocket Theme template that we're using called Versatility 4. And here is a uh, demo site with that, and you've seen some of the module positions available there in previous sessions. So briefly to uh, get this module and install it, you'll need to download the module and you just simply go and, and download it. You um, probably need a subscription to access this, this module and you will then install it in the Joomla backend using the install and uninstall function on the extension toolbar. So you would uh, simply go and find your package file and I believe this was called module rock stories so I've got it right there I've already had I already have it installed so we're not going to worry about that but that's how we go through the install process and we'll actually look back at this module um, in a little while now this module is completely separate from the banners module and the headers are set up in a completely uh, different way using sections, categories, and articles in the Joomla article manager. So te technically speaking, these headers are not are not banners at all, although for the purposes of this site, they're functioning in much the same way. And each header is associated with an article. And when we click on the header, we're actually taken to the article. And we can, we have text there as well as, as the picture. So for these particular banners, this scrolling area here, we're going to take some steps that are a little bit different from the previous sessions. First, we're going to create or get from someone else the graphic. Then we're going to uh, create and categorize an article that's related to the graphic or the promotion that we're, we're putting on the site. And then we're going to ensure that the Rock Stories module, which we've installed onto the site is pulling from the appropriate article sections and categories. So first to create the graphic we're going to use Photoshop and I'm just going to take a look at the graphic in Photoshop. Uh, to create this graphic we, uh, are, we've used a nice picture uh, that I have gotten off of the website for the property that we're going to be hosting this event at and I've cropped and sized it to to fit. So uh, it was a uh, uh, larger graphic and I uh, positioned it there so that uh, it gives me some space to add some writing and I've uh, f created it at a particular size which for this template for this particular banner is 806 by 234 pixels. It's very important, 806 by 234. Then I added a logo to it um, and uh, I gave it a slight glow and some some drop shadows using our layers style so gave it a little bit of drop shadow and a little bit of uh, an outer glow just to give it a little bit of uh, depth and, and interest and then I wanted to get a font that that looked a little bit like what we had for the logo and so after searching a number of font databases I found a font out on the uh, on the internet on defont.com called Euphora, Euphoragenic that uh, I thought came fairly close to matching the look that I was going after so because it's free for commercial use so you always want to check on that and make sure that you're compliant with whatever the uh, terms of agreements and the rights to use those fonts um, there so back into Photoshop I've added some some text here and we'll just turn on these different layers let you see what we've got and so I've uh, I've added this text and I've used a drop shadow and I've used a little bevel, inner bevel 
to just help it stand out a little bit and give it uh, a little more of uh, of the the look I was going after. So once that graphic is to my liking, I'm going to use the Save for Web and Devices function to optimize that graphic for web performance. And I used a PNG format, and I've also got the graphic size the way I want it, and I save that to my computer. I already have it. So then I will upload it into the Media Manager of our Joomla backend. And here I'm going to go into a file called headers which I've set up there it is and this is simply uh, a way to keep my header graphics organized and so you can see there's my graphic which I had already loaded up if it wasn't there I would just uh, use the upload functionality to get it there now the next step is to create and categorize the article using sections and categories. Um, one helpful an analogy to think about articles in Joomla is to think about the content in a newspaper. Now a newspaper has different sections like the business section or the sports section and then each section has different categories like football or baseball or like local business or stock picks. So for this uh, for this site I've organized all of the headers in their own sections and categories and that's both called headers so I can drill down here using my filter to the headers I could uh, also have done that by selecting the headers category and you'll see here we've got a number of headers some some which are published and some which are not and including our article right here which I have created and we saw when I clicked on that banner right there okay so there's the back end of that article in this article I've inserted my graphic and I use this little tool to I've used this little tool to insert the graphic and I have a lot of different settings there and then I have some and you can see I've got a read more link right here and I'll show you why this is important in a few minutes next we've used some marketing copy uh, that came off of a print flyer and we've added the qualification rules down here just using text so this is actually an article that comprises the header and this graphic is used by the rock stories module on the home page so this rock stories module is pulling that graphic off of that article and when you click on it you actually go to the article now uh, I have a lot of editing options up here in my backend content editor and you may not see those on your interface and that's because I've installed a third-party component called the JCE editor I'll just show that to you briefly here the Joomla content editor it's a third-party extension that is available um, the base basic extension I believe is available free and additional features to it are uh, there's a there's a subscription charge for I don't think it's a lot I think it's about thirty dollars but um, that gives a number of helpful tools here including some of these media and image tools now you can do everything you need to do without it but this content editor certainly makes life a lot easier for editing articles because it's got a lot of features that are very very useful so before I close out this article I want to make sure that I've named it so I've got a name there and I say that yes it is published and I appropriately categorize it in sections and categories so here I've got all the sections I could choose from and uh, the categories associated there so if I left the sections open then all of a sudden I could see the categories associated with the particular section so let's say news there we got other categories and this is all set up in the article uh, manager I'll show you that in just a moment so we'll make sure that that says headers and then I also want to show you that there are a number of uh, parameters so I want to uh, name it make sure this is a public article and add a fi finish publishing date if I have one now I might not have one but for 
this particular promotion uh, it's going to be available through the end of the year so I've got a December 31st 2011 finish publishing date so I'm not going to need to go back and remember to take this banner off uh, or unpublish this article uh, when it's over I simply set the finish publishing date and then I have all kinds of advanced parameters here that I can control that and I, and I want to look at one of them in particular um, but these are all set to use global and I can go into the article manager and I'll just do that for you here and I can take a look at the, all the parameters associated with the all of the articles so th this is where I change my global settings now if I go back in here I can override any particular parameter in the article by selecting it here and intro text is one that might be very helpful because suppose I have a graphically intensive article and having this banner in that might be overkill I can I can elect to hide the intro text which means everything that's above the readme line would be hidden when you actually pull the article up so if I just apply that and I go out here to my article and refresh my screen then all of a sudden the graphic has disappeared now when I'm on the home page the rock stories module will still pull the graphic but when I click back to the article I won't see it I can go back in here and set that back to global or to show and apply that change and now my graphic will show back up so you have a lot of different parameters on an article that you can play with there and override them on an article specific basis the third thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the module is configured correctly and in order to do this I'm gonna go into the module manager and I'm gonna go back here and select the module type which is rock stories and that pulls up our module which I've named headers now what I really want to do, I don't, th this is a highly configurable um, module and I don't want to go through everything but for the purposes of our banner graphic or our header graphic I just want to show you a few things that are, are pertinent to that. This is a, a very robust uh, third party component and or module and you can use it in a lot of different ways. Um, some of the main things here to just remember, I've titled the module and this module is in the showcase two position and if you recall um, we have a number of different module positions available on our template and this one is using this showcase two position right here then we also have the module showing up only on the home page so here's all of the different pages or menu items that are available in this uh, on this site and we have selected uh, this one particular one which is the home page so that ensures that the module shows up there and not on any other pages then I have identified the module class suffix with a none parameter and as with a number of templates and modules there are, the template has some styling associated with different module positions and this overrides that so there aren't any any spaces or there's no padding around the the module that might cause the front graphic to have white space around it or be off-centered a little bit. The, there are several different layout types. What I'm using for this uh, is Showcase. The, uh, this area right here, uh, the Joomla section and Joomla category, is the very important thing because this determines where the articles are pulled from. So this gives me the flexibility where I could create articles in different areas and have them pull in here but because I'm really relying on this to showcase that graphic I want to keep all of those those articles in one place and have the module pull only from those articles then I can specify the maximum number of articles here I uh, can also down here I've got the fixed height so this determines the height size of the graphic um, autoplay is checked so that the graphics will continue to scroll as through, through the different articles and I can set a delay on that and then lastly you saw the arrows that I used um, I have selected to show those arrows and place those arrows on the inside of the module so and we'll just go back out to the front page and and there you have it